There you are, two of Cafe Adam's sweet polyphenol teas to go. Enjoy! Very good, Rye. I'm just so excited. Thank you so much again for hiring me this summer. It's my pleasure, Cariño. We're going to have so much fun. Totally. And with the extra money, I'm finally in that meditation class I've been wanting to take. Did you know that through MRI, scientists have found that meditation leads to enhanced creativity, better focus, lower anxiety, and a lasting sense of calm? I can't think of anyone who could use a little meditation more than you. Wow, this place is awesome. Adri, Bri, this is Tessa, and her mother, Miss Wallace. Bienvenidos al Café Atoms. Hi, Mr. Coyle. Hello, Bryden. Adrian. In honor of your first day at Destination Mars Camp, I'm going to make you all Cafe Adam's special cotton candy milkshake with liquid nitrogen ice cream. Sounds great. Warning, major brain freeze. <laughs> Has anyone been able to reach Michaela today? She's not answering her phone. No, I'm beginning to worry about her. She did take last night's fiasco pretty hard. Doesn't she also have her driver's license test coming up? Whew, talk about being stressed. Some meditative controlled breathing exercises will work for her about now. Breathe in through the nose, and out through the nose. In through the nose. <coughs> it's harder than it looks. Kayla. Hello. Sorry. Thanks again for volunteering to give me some driving lessons before I go in for my license. My mom's non-stop instructions were driving me crazy. Well, you can relax. You're in good hands. I've been driving since I was 13. I'm kidding. Kind of. Maybe this isn't a good idea. Okay, let's do this. It's Kyle, again. Hey, yeah. Michaela, you forgot about the movie last night. Okay, now, ease out slowly, and no texting while driving. Are we okay? All right, what's up with Mikhail? <laughs> Why would you just automatically assume that this is... Okay, fine. You know, I just think, you know, with what happened last night, right now is not the best time to be in a relationship. I have responsibilities to innovate, to being the owl, Plus, getting my license adds to my skill sets as an agent. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, Kyle, driving, can't talk. Call you later. Oh, okay, fine. Excuse me, boss. An optimal simulation level web search has located Professor Cato's last known address. Nice work, Addison. Why don't you drive? <laughs> Oh, sorry to interrupt. Ah, oh, taste testers! Hurry up and drink this while it's still ever resting in liquid form. Really think she could help us? Duh. Remember her exploding cream puffs from the science fair? She could whip up anything. I'm calling it Adri's pink drink. Safety first. Careful, I don't want curiosity to kill the can. Hmm. Tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough and a glass of milk. Pass. I just whiten my teeth. It's a secret recipe passed down from my grandma. She's known as the best culinary chemist in Spain. Culinary chemist? That's a thing? Yes, of course it is. Adri, do you want to help us with a top secret investigation? Secret investigation? You mean like, Mission Impossible? Uh, yeah, like Mission Impossible. Oh, I love those movies! When I was little, I used to watch them all the time. I even told my parents I wanted to work for the Centro Nacional de Inteligencia. It's like the CIA in Spain. Know anything about lifting fingerprints? Hmm. $1.5 million, an exorbitant amount of money by any account for a vacation. But for Prince Xander of Canterbury, known throughout social media as the Trillionaire Prince, it's another extreme stunt that has him yet again in the international spotlight. 
It's totally awesome! As the impending launch looms, the prince appears ever more carefree about the possible mortal danger. Now's our chance. Wanna do lunch sometime? I'm such a foodie. I know all the fanciest places to eat in this town. There's like two, but they're fabulous. Shh. Oh, hey, you guys again. Can't seem to hold on to my supplies around you. Weird, huh? Uh, that's my pen. Uh, you don't want this pen. It got sticky from the sticky ground. But I like sticky things, sticky glue, sticky notes, sticky rice, sticky tape, sticky sticks. <laughs> uh, so here, take mine. Um, okay. Mango coconut foam soup. What was I thinking? Siracha pearls made from cold oil certification? Quedé tan loca! Sorry, I know I'm late. What took you so long? My meditation class introduced some yoga and I got stuck in the cow face eagle arms. It's, it's a long story. Then trying to find everything on your ingredients list was, let's just say a challenge. So, which Adrian Adams culinary masterpiece is gonna wow Olivia James and change the face of space cuisine forever? I've got nothing, nada. We've got to start over. Okay, okay. I've been researching. There are muchas cosas things to consider for the perfect menu item. Space diets can't have too much sodium. The decrease in red blood cells creates unhealthy levels of iron durante el viaje espacial profundo. Vanish to English app during deep space travel. Got it. Astronauts need extra calcium in a weightless environment. And there are too many freeze-dried options. Pero no hay alimentos frescos suficientes. Not enough fresh foods. Hey, can we just stick to one language, please? This is what I do when I'm stressed. OK. I need to create something that is not only delicious, but nutritious. And if it could be stored safely for the long journey into space, that would be. La cereza del pastel. Icing on the cake. Wait, that's it. What about the perfect dessert? You may be onto something. We will make something that's never been tried before. Like a souffle. These sites list souffles as a top five choice for foodies across all ages. And with a few modifications, it could be high in protein, low in fat, healthy breakfast. Olivia James, prepare to be dazzled. Here's what I need. We will start creating before Cafe Adams opens. 5 a.m. sharp, okay? Okay. Of course we will. <sighs> Calming breaths, bandwidth. <sighs> How much longer, Addison? I've tapped into Spacing's database. Should have the backdated security footage from Dr. Crawford's office soon. <laughs> Sorry, Em. You usually put my hard drive to sleep by now. I just need to confirm Dr. Crawford's story about her conversation with Professor Cato. It could shed some light on where he's hiding. Hey, stranger. I'm just saying goodnight. I'm in. Sending it to the monitor. You've seen the danger. We have to destroy the prototype now. We've spent the last 10 years making great progress, James. We can't just throw it all away. I trust you to find a way to safeguard it. Fine. If you won't do anything about it, I will. So he did tell Dr. Crawford. Where is this guy, Addison? And what's his next move? Hmm. Addison. I'm up, I'm up! Hey, uh, Devin, um, I don't have you down here for an audition. Because I'm not. I'm just doing a favor for Brie and Pam. I got these color filters for your light show. Trust me, you'll like it. Do we have a choice? Nope. Uh, it's Brian Cam. She does not care. Yeah, she still calls me Lyle. Yeah. Anyway, good luck. Yo, Camsterdam. 
Congrats on, if you're lucky, second place. <laughs> well, you know what else is number two, Justin? Yeah, let's not go there. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, it's working. He's in there. This is my one shot to make an impression on Simon Temple. What if he doesn't like what I've created? Are you kidding? Simon's gonna flip when he sees how insanely talented you are. Plus, with my EDM beats, we're gonna crush it. Circuit beats, you're up. Let's do this. One day.